Hello, hello, I'm Ruby Burrito and welcome to the video. Today I wanted to talk about essences. So if you wanted to craft the obsidian armor that you can see here on the left, you are going to need some essences. There are three different types that you get from the new expansion. We can hop on over to the bank. They do now get stored in your bank. They are going to be down in the advanced crafting materials at the bottom. We have essences of despair, essences of greed, and essences of triumph. You use these to create amalgamated cryptus essences, and these are a component in the legendary armor. But let's talk about ways to get these essences. Now, there are going to be two main ways that I will suggest doing it. And there is a third option that is viable, but it's very costly. So let's first look at the easiest one, the easiest on your time, the easiest to do repetitively, and I guess the most consistent. If you go to Secrets of the Obscure, you have your weekly rift hunting. Now, the Cryptus rift extractions that you get for doing the five in each map, I would suggest doing each of these maps every single week. Not only is it going to help you get closer to your rift hunting, you can see I'm two out of three or one out of three on a lot of these maps because I've been trying to get this done, but it also gives you the Cryptus Rift Extractions. If we uh, take a look at the Cryptus Rift Extractions, I'll have a wiki link down below, but the Cryptus Rift Extraction has a chance to give Essences of Despair, Essences of Greed, and Essences of Triumph. It'll give you two of the following. The link will have an average of each one, but on average you get five Essences of Despair, five Essences of Greed, and 1.9 or two Essences of Triumph. You need quite a few of these to craft your Legendary, so that's not quite enough there. In addition, you will get three to seven Essences of Despair for completing the pre-boss event of any tier rift, three to seven for the boss event of T1 rifts, or six to 14 if you have the rift mastery trained. Let's take a look at that mastery real quick. If we go down to Astral Ward, you can see rift mastery here. This will give you additional essences out of the rifts, and then you have obsidian armor crafting here as well that you will need to craft these. Now, that's the first one. Tier 1 gives you more Essences of Despair, Tier 2 gives you more Essences of Greed, and Tier 3 gives you the Essences of Triumph. That's the easy one. That's the basic one. That's what it tells you to do. Again, if you're going to go that route, I would suggest at the very least making sure that you get the bonus of the weekly Rift Hunting. There's five potential bonus boxes that'll give you bonus Essences. There's another thing in Secrets of the Obscure that gives you quite a bit of essences. That is going to be convergences. Now, while you're doing convergences, you make progress towards achievements like Convergence Creature Crusher, which is just killing enemies, Emotional Baggage, which is collecting Cryptus Essences, Cryptus Turret Killer, Wizarding Essentials, there's quite a few of these, and look what they give you. A Nugget of Cryptus Essence. This gives you essences. As, as it sounds like. So it gives you, on average, 19 Essences of Despair, 7.6 Essences of Greed, or 3.5 Essence of Triumph. So it gives you all three, and it gives you a set amount of each. 12 to 25 or 50 of the Despair, 5 to 10 or 20 of Greed, 2 to 5 or 10 of the Triumph. So... Every time you do make progress on these, you'll get a little nugget. Now, the other part of doing convergences is there is a bonus choice chest at the end that allows you to pick 100 Essence of Despair, 40 of Greed, or 20 of Triumph, or you can get another item that we will come back to. Finally, if you do at least two a week you can get a cryptus convergence extraction this is guaranteed this is why this is what i will suggest that you do if you take anything away it'll be this try to do two to three of these a week this gives you 
250 Essence of Despair, 100 Essence of Greed, and 50 Essence of Triumph. This has two of them. So if you do three, you get 750 Essence of Despair, 300 of Greed, and 150 of Triumph. That is going to make a huge dent in your farming for the Legendary Armor. Now, if you don't want to do any of that, there is technically a way to bypass the farming. If we go back to Secrets of the Obscure and go to Convergences, you have the Unstable Cryptus Motivation. You can open a Concealed Unstable Cryptus Essence Coffer with this motivation. This is the other option for the hero's choice chest. Not this item, but the essence coffer that it is that this opens. Both of these items are for sale on the trading post. If we go and take a look at the concealed should pop up here. Concealed unstable Cryptus Essence Coffer. This one is cheap. This is the one you get for the Hero's Choice Chest. This gives you an exposed, stabilized Cryptus Essence Coffer, which is guaranteed to give you 5 to 10 Triumph, 10 to 20 Greed, and 25 to 50 Despair, plus some other items, including potentially 25 Triumph, 50 Greed, or 125 Despair in the uncommon section. I will have a link to this in the description. This is an option. I do not suggest going this route because it is very expensive. So this is the cheap one, right? This is the expensive one. Unstable Cryptus Motivation. Unstable Cryptus Motivation. This is 9 gold. For a whopping 5 to 10 Essence of Triumph, 10 to 20 Essence of Greed, 25 to 50 Essence of Despair. You can, again, you can buy your way through all of the Essences. It is wildly expensive and unattainable for most people. So if you want this gear, my suggestion is do Convergences. Do three a week if you can. And then if you can play more, do Rifts on top of that. Do your weekly Rifts. That's going to wrap up everything for this video. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to drop them down below in the comments. Like I said, I'm going to have a lot of the links in the description. And uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below to support the channel and catch up with the next Black Lion update video that will be coming out on Tuesday and any other video that I'm going to be having coming out soon. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.